In this short lesson, uh, we will be doing an explanation of the key signatures. What is a key signature? A key signature is the accidentals that are placed before the piece of music. This tells us which sharps or flats that we must play to make this particular scale sounds major or minor. So, for example, the three that you need to remember for grade one is the C major scale, the F major scale, and the G major scale. And this is very important. They are written on a very specific place on the stave. First thing is they are written right at the beginning. So, for C major, C major, if we play the C major scale, we'll, we'll see that we're only playing white keys. There is no black keys. There's no accidentals, meaning that we will not be writing anything for C major. That is an extra mark, just like that, uh, if I ask you the C major scale, the key signature for C major. If you get F major, we must remember that F major has a B flat. And B flat for the treble clef is written on the third line. Goes through the little heart, the half heart there. It's on the third line. But for the bass clef, it moves down one line and it was written on the second line from the bottom. For the G major, we must remember we have F sharp. And F sharp is the sharpest written right at the top of the line for the treble. And again moves one line down for the bass um, and is written on the second line from the top. This is very important. Do not write it on any other line. You will lose marks or in many cases get no mark at all. Right, in our previous lesson, we had a look at the tonic triad in the key of C major, for example. Now, where, is, where are the tonic notes? Where are the tonic notes for C major, F major, and G major? Where are the first degree notes, um, the possible first degree notes that falls within the scope of notes that we need to know for grade one? Well, for the C major, we have two possibilities. We have leisure line C or middle C for the treble or high C, which is written on the second space from the top, because F-A-C-E, face, C. For the bass, however, we have the second space from the bottom, or leisure line C or middle C right at the top there. For F major, we have the treble clef one, Add in an accidental at the front because we are doing dealing with key signatures. We add the key signature when asked to do it. And we are writing it there or at the top line because every good boy deserves root. For the base, we have adding again the accidental for the key signature. We have the notes just touching the stave or the second line going through the second line from the top. And for G major, we have the notes on the second line from the bottom or just touching the stave at the top for G. And for G major, the bass clef, adding again the key signature, we have the first line from the bottom or the first space at the top. Moving on, let's have a look at the different tonic triads of, um, of for the key signatures we can write. Okay, first things first. For C major, remembering that it's the first, third, and fifth degree of the tonic triad, meaning that we will be writing C, E, and G, we will be writing the triads on the tonic of each scale. Now, have a look closely here how they work. So, in this one, we had the different tonic notes can be there and there. So I've written it there and there. Then I just stack my notes because this is a line note. I will be stacking two more line notes on top of that because the, the top one is a space note. I'll be stacking two space notes on top of that. For the bass clef, we will only have one to remember and that is on um, low C right there, C, E and G. Because legion line C at the top, we can write two more legion lines, but that falls beyond the scope of names that we need to know for grade one. For F major, we have one as well for the treble on F, F, A, C, and we have two for the bass, F, A, C, low F, and then this one here, F, A, C. 
needing to write the legion line C again for that one. And for the G major, we have one as well, G, B, and D, third, first, third, and fifth degree, as well as two for the bass, G, B, and D, and again G, B, and D. Practice writing these. That's the best way to do them. Practice writing them.